Hi, I'm Jackson Schaefer, and I'm an SDSU student, and I'm also the bass player and singer of Natural Disaster. My name's David Smith, and I'm the rhythm guitarist for Natural Disaster. So we met at a place called Rock and Roll San Diego, which is a music school in the Midway District, Point Loma area, where you can, it's like School of Rock. You teach people to play an instrument or to sing. I had the idea of like, we should start a band outside of Rock and Roll San Diego. And I talked to David and he was all for it. And a while later, I met Max, who is a new student at the school. And he had a lot of potential and I was like, and he had a great look and I was like, I like, I, I like you, we, let's, let's, let's do something. So we, we recruited him. I was the drummer to start off, <laughs> but we would like get up and like switch instruments. Like we were all multi-instrumentalists. It was kind of cool, but the, after a while of, after years and years of doing that, it kind of got tiring to do it. So we, we kind of sticked to, once we got a stable drummer, we sticked to the format of me on bass, David and Max on guitar, and the drummer on, well, drums. <laughs> and basically we've been through a lot, but it's always been Max, David, and I, and we've looked forward to the journey. We've had a great journey so far. So the name Natural Disaster is really interesting because we were thinking, oh, unnatural disaster, and someone was like, no, let's do Natural Disaster, and I think another name that came up was a Max Volume. So, Natural Disaster really just started um, because I wanted to have fun, Jackson wanted to have fun, and there was actually an event at my uh, school, uh, it was a junior high social, I believe, uh, where we ended up playing uh, some Beach Boys tunes and stuff like that, and so this band really was uh, born out of a passion for music and a and an appreciation uh, for music that Jackson and I shared, and that's when, you know, we came up with the name, obviously, but, you know, the Natural Disaster really is about, first of all, having fun and just enjoying playing music, and, you know, if we happen to, you know, make some money on the side or, you know, get famous, like, that doesn't necessarily matter to us. What matters to us is the passion for the music and having fun and creating awesome rock songs. Basically, we live in a world where, you know, rock is not the mainstream anymore. It wasn't like a huge thing. And we grew up with this idea of just rock and roll is, is such an amazing form of entertainment. And just it's, a, it's just a great community. And we really wanted to take a part of it, as well as, you know, kind of set the bar. Because we really, our biggest thing is how tight we are. And I think that comes across pretty well in shows where we we practice really hard and we we just we wanna get just as perfect as possible in a way that can really in a way that could take us as far as we want it to. And we we're all very close friends, the three of us, and we have such a connection that none of us ever thought we'd have with anybody. And it's, it, it's taken us to the point that like, we, we know exactly what we want out of this and we're gonna, we're gonna really try and keep it going. We, we, we love what we do, we love to rock out. If you've seen us, you totally, you totally get it. We, we're, we're very active, we jump around a lot. <laughs> we're very passionate about what we do. We're very passionate about music and about rock and roll, but not just rock, every, any type of music. We'd love to just do it as much as possible. So the EP took a while to do. Um, I, I'd say like over the course of two and a half years, I, I mean, it started out as, oh, we want to record something. And then by the time we had, you know, demos, like good demos ready to go so we could then, you know, continue to actually actually go in and record exactly what we wanted and actually all the production was done in in the studio we're filming in right now um kind of messy right now uh but you know we we cranked a ton of stuff out but we made this really awesome sounding self-produced album uh you can check it out on on spotify but it's just just really amazing great process 
So, you know, what's really interesting about the San Diego music scene is just the fact that everyone knows everyone. Like, if you don't know someone, you will know them at some point. If, if you're in the music scene long enough, you know who they are. It's, it's just a tight-knit group. Obviously, there's little sections. There's obviously the younger guys and there's the older guys. We're kind of that in-between kind of jazz rock fusion weird area and some country background because Max was in the country for a while. But we, you know, I feel like all the diverse uh, musical backgrounds that, you know, we have, like our influences actually make our band really interesting. We can fit anywhere. All our music, it just like each song sounds different. Nothing sounds the same, which is great because it it's still got this cohesive, you know, uh, sound to it, but it's not necessarily like, oh, I'm listening to a whole album of funk or an old, whole album of rock. Like, it, it really has uh, good variety in the songs. And so, in terms of the music scene, we, um, I, I think we just kind of fit wherever we need to be. We've been kind of on a break recently. Um, we're kind of deciding what we're gonna be in the future. Like, it's it's gonna take a little bit to really get a hold on that because we're also super busy. Like, David does sound. Max works a lot, and he and he's still in high school. And I have I, I'm an actor, and we all we all have so such different lives we live. It's so hard for us to get together these days. But we we literally have text conversations in the group chat talking about how much we miss each other and how much we miss performing with each other and honestly that that can get me a little emotional sometimes because these they've these these two have been my brothers for almost six years now and it's so weird to not really play with them as much as anymore but we're we are working so hard to try and really bring something back and bring it back into the scene we we love our fans and we love just people in general who will come out to shows and we just love rocking their socks off and we will be back soon and yeah watch out we're coming we were wasted 